All right, all right. Track guide for Belle Isle. This is uh, 2021 Season 2 IndyCar, and I'm using the related setup for it from Craig's setup shop. So I've got a couple of laps I'm going to show. Um, actually, I'm going to start this out with a one that's a slightly slower. Um, all these are race pace. None of these are meant to be you know, super fast laps for, for qualifying. Um, but I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and show one that's a bit this on the slower side of race pace. So this one's going to be a 16, basically a 16-1. Let me go over here to it. We'll back up a bit. We'll run with it. All right. So coming into turn one, I'm actually going to change my. We'll follow this once with the gyro, and I'll I'll change over and show the uh, the, the far chase when it makes sense to show that as part of the uh, for car positioning. So. Um, turn one is interesting in that the timing that I use is very much based on my eyes. So we see we're approaching the 300 marker board here. The timing I basically use is get to the 300 marker board, immediately start looking for the little bit of curb to the right, and also getting the car slowed down. I don't like to trail brake through here, but I found that if I get the car slowed down and get back down into, into fourth gear and then stay off the gas, that's enough for me to keep it through the through the apex of one. So we'll back up a bit, go through it. Oh, sorry about that. Get us back here a little bit. And so you'll see me go down into or you'll somewhat see me. I'll go down all the I'll go down two gears from six into fourth. Um, and then I'll ride the apex of the first car. And I actually took it all the way down to third here. So the key for turn two is once you get to about eh, about here, you're going to start thinking about trying to sacrifice the entrance to turn two so that you can get a really flat run off of it. Um, if you are able to apex somewhat late in turn two, you can get all the way back in the gas, uh, be flat out coming out of it, even coming over the hump, um, to the point to where you, you can basically be in, into four or shift into fourth as soon as you come over the hump. All right, so this is the only place where you have to breeze. Braking marker here, if you want to be safe, the braking marker is basically at the 400 or immediately after it, um, and we'll show a little more aggressive line shortly thereafter. You probably heard I got back into the gas pretty quickly. One thing to keep in mind is that this section of the track, really from really from as soon as the brake markers, or even a little bit beforehand, all the way through this turn, turn three, and then all the way through turn four, is the area of the track that has the highest grip. There's significantly more grip here than on any, any other portion of the track. So basically, as soon as you hit the apex, you can pretty much stand in it and not really have to worry about the, tire, the, the car coming out from under you with this setup. Turn four, the I don't have a, I don't have a definite uh, brake marker. It's kind of on feel, but I do kind of use the transition of the color of the track here a bit. Um, you'll be in third, probably getting close to fourth. Um, just shift it down to to second, stay out of the throttle, and throw it into the corner, and it'll arc through pretty nicely. Brake marker for this corner is also similar to the previous one. I'm waiting for the change in um, the change in the in the shade of the track. The uh, this little dip here in the wall may be significant as well, but I will say that the point where the track gets really bumpy is right at the beginning break, the beginning of the braking zone here. Um, you're going to go from third down to first and try to get a late apex on this, and the apex is kind of obvious. The, 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 it kind of comes out to a, to a point, and you'll see that going through the corner. Right there. Okay, back up the hill. Really, it's going to be your choice if you get if you get all the way into third. Um, before making this right hand on the long back straightaway. If going into third is slowing you down, then don't do it. The most important thing here is you get a really good run off of this. Um, one thing, though, this is a little bit further here. And let me change now to the far chase. Notice this line right through here along the on the left side of the track, the, the dark line just, just off of the wall. Um, that is not the beginning of where the wall is. That is, there's actually a bit of, of space about the width of a rear tire um, just beyond that before you get to the, to the wall. So one of the ways to make a lot of speed here 
is to try to slowly get the car to roll all the way out. And I don't know if I did that here on this lap. Yeah, so see, I get the car all the way out to at least the front tires are in that in that area before I turn in. And I'm all, obviously all the, way, all the way down to one, trying my best not to trail break and out of the throttle for a long ways until, until we come through here. And I think this is one where, yeah, so I, I, I missed the apex pretty badly here. So there's a lot more room that you can could, you could take there. What I, what I normally shoot for here is on the exit of the corner, I want the car to be, and I'm pointing at the screens if you can see that, but if I'm on the exit of the corner and I'm actually on the, on the apex, then I want the car to be pointed at basically where the pure Michigan signs up at the top of the screen end. So for my braking marker here, I kind of imagine an apex in this little bend. Um, and I try to, I get fully on the brakes as soon as I get there, hold it for maybe half a second, and then I start rolling off pretty quickly. Uh, this corner, corner entry here, is, I'm going to be completely out of the, out of the throttle, um, and that, there's plenty of grip to do that and let the car swing wide. I will say this right-hander and the next right-hander I take as if it's one double apex corner. So with the second apex being right right here, that's where I, I aim the car. And my braking marker for the for the left hander is right about at that apex, maybe just a little bit before. And now on, on turn in, I normally try to turn in so that I come around just on the outside of this grate. If you see there's a little bit of a of a drainage grate right there in the in what, what I guess would be the early apex of this corner. We'll take a look at the far chase and see how I place the car. Oop, wrong one. This is my unpolished turret of a track guide. So, yeah, turning in a little bit late and just trying to get around the outside edge of, of that drainage grate. And you'll actually, because you'll actually feel the car kind of move and bounce a bit if you if you hit it too much. But that also ensures a pretty good run up out of this corner into the double apex left hander which I end up getting into third gear right before, and then I've done it again. I end up hitting third gear right before, right before turn in. So I carry third gear through this area, but I, the, only, the only thing I'm really using the throttle for through here is to try to make sure I keep the car placed really tightly to the curbs, but do not touch the curbs. Breaking marker for the turn, for the turn left, for the left hand, or the right hand turn here, sorry, is really about at this late apex to the second left-hander, and it's very light braking that you'll see from the uh, from the the braking gauge over here. It's light braking, but it's carried for a good little ways. The main thing about this corner is you don't want to lock up any front tires. If you lock up a front tire at all, it's going to send you straight into the tire barrier. The exit of this corner is very bumpy up over here against the wall, so that is why I end up waiting fairly late to get back into full throttle. You'll see there that I do pick up the throttle a good bit to 50 all the way maybe even up to about 60%. But the car is almost completely straight by the time I get fully back into the throttle. It's still laying out towards the wall a, a little bit, but you just have to be very mindful. There's a lot of bumps here that can catch you out if you're, if you're not careful. With them. Let's go back to the gyro. Braking marker for the next corner is on the safe side. It is just after the three. On the uh, on the more aggressive side, it's going to be basically between the 200 and the 200, and you can carry second gear through this corner. So this is one where one thing also to keep in mind is that this track it takes at least a full lap for the tires to come up to temperature. Do not push this corner your first time through it, otherwise you're you're going to pick up a lot of a lot of understeer. But bring it down to second gear. It's, it's tricky because you do want to carry some speed because um, in, in doing that, it, the, the downforce level on the car definitely helps it grip. So I carry second gear through here and I try to roll it out to the wall and the exit as much as I'm comfortable. And this technically is another one that I really approach as a double apex right-hander. So there's one apex, roll it out. And I get back on the throttle fully here. Um, and once again, you kind of have a choice between whether or not you want to go up to third for this next corner or if you want to stay in second. If you stay in second, lift a bit to get the nose to arc down in. And by the time you get to the apex, you should be able to stand on it and be back up to third all the way around to the front stretch.
Okay, so let me rerun that one one more time, and uh, I won't pause it, but I'll just kind of talk through the breaking markers as we as we go here. Looking for the three board, breaking just after, down to fourth, trying to hold the apex, sacrificing entry, trying to keep it flat on the exit. Looking for the 400 marker board, breaking just after it really hard. Plenty of grip here on exit, so as soon as you hit the apex, stand in it. Back down to two, trying to carry plenty of speed through this corner. Down to one, late apex. Try to do the car way over to the left, down to one. That's not a good corner entry, so don't worry about that. Break marker here is between the four and the three. Turning in completely out of the gas, picking up the gas light, double apexing, breaking right before that apex, missing the grain straight on the left, back up to third here, then using the throttle to keep the car close to the apex as I can, doing everything to not lock the tires here, being mindful of the bumps on the exit. Brake marker here is between the three and the two. Carry some speed so you still get the benefit of downforce. Kind of a double apex again, back on it full speed. Okay, cool. So as I said, that is a 16-1. My fastest lap that I turned was a 15-3. So let's take a look at that one now. I think what we'll see is I'm a lot smoother coming through one and two, at least to begin with. There's, you can gain a whole lot of time by sticking really close to the apex and getting a really good run off of two. Yeah, see, I was up into fourth before we even hit the crest at two left. And my braking marker there was a lot closer to the three, so you might be able to actually push the braking marker all the way to the three board there if you're really, really good at it. That was a lot better um, coming to that right-hand corner. So notice here, I'm going to swing out wide and get a little better entry here. Let's back that up for just a second. So notice on this lap, I swung out wide while approaching the left-hander right before the brake zone. The goal here there is, I'm, if we look here, the, the wall here curves, 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 and you can see right behind the three marker, it gets flat. And I basically want to brake hard before the three marker, but get the car parallel to that wall in order to use as much of the track as possible. You can almost aim for this little this little uh, kind of out, or this little jut out in the wall, this you know, bend in the wall here as your as your as exit marker, and then still try to keep it arcing to hit the second apex here. A little bit overstay there. And that's the 15-3. So I think my closing thought here is to uh, basically don't try to push the car too hard too fast. 16-1s um, are, are pretty easily doable early on in the early, early on in your stance, but it definitely feels like the car comes to you over the course of the run. So it's it's going to get faster even on the red tires, at least with at least with if you're driving anything like like I am. Um, you don't really have to worry about tire wear, or at least that's been my my impression over the course of the stint, uh, and it's a pretty straightforward one-stopper because of that. So, yeah, that's a quick walkthrough guide of Bell Isle. Um, yeah, IndyCar 2021 Season 2. Thanks to Craig Setup Shop for the setup.